Now there seems to be trouble for the former Scottish First Minister just days after she was replaced by Hamsa Yusuf. Nicola Sturgeon's husband has been arrested. Peter Murrell has been hauled up for alleged wrongdoings in funding for the Scottish National Party. Police vehicles could also be seen outside their home in Glasgow on Wednesday. Scottish police say that Murrell was has been arrested as a suspect and officials are conducting investigations at a number of locations. Just last month, Murrell stepped down as the chief executive of the governing pro-independence SNP. The police investigation re revolves around about $745,000 funding raised by Scottish independence campaigners in 2017, which was missing from parties' filed accounts. Scottish National Party says that it is not appropriate to comment on any ongoing police investigation, insisting that the party is cooperating with the probe. The probe comes after Nicola Sturgeon stepped down as leader of Scotland's semi-autonomous government after eight long years in power. Hamza Yusuf replaced Sturgeon last week. The three-way selection process had exposed deep divisions within the Scottish National Party. And Nicola, just up here, thanks Nicola. Now for more on this, our correspondent Alex Aizar joins us live from London. Welcome to the broadcast, Alex. What is the latest you have for us from the probe into the funding of the Scottish National Party? All right, we might have lost our correspondent right there, but we will be trying again to contact Alex as and when it happens. For those of you who are joining us, we are talking about the former Scottish First Minister's husband who has been arrested for alleged wrongdoings and fundings for the Scottish National Party. Police vehicles could be seen outside their homes in Glasgow on Wednesday, and the Scottish police says that Marul, has been arrested as a suspect for now and officials are conducting investigations at a number of locations. Alex, are you with us on this broadcast? If you can hear me, what is the latest you have for us from the probe into the funding of the Scottish National Party? From what we understand, um, that this probe has actually been going on for the last two years. So um, this hasn't been a uh, quite a sudden uh, a thing that we think because he's been arrested today, the probe has been going on for the last few years. There's been quite a lot of complaints within the SNP over those past years with regards to the funds and where they were being utilised. Now, when Nicola Sturgeon did end up resigning, everyone was slightly shocked, but there was that under underlying rumblings of the rumour that it was because of her husband and this funding issue. Of course, right now, there's going to be a lot of talk within the SNP itself about what's going to be happening. They've got a new First Minister and Hamza uh, Yousaf has said today when he was asked about uh, the situation that he was uh, not quite sure what was going on and he didn't really want to comment because it is an ongoing police investigation. But we do understand that um, Mr. Hassel is currently in custody and Nicola Sturgeon hasn't had any announcements and hasn't yet been seen. The police will be going through her house and they're also going through the headquarters. But again, from what we understand, it is a case of this money was put to one side for the independence referendum. It hasn't been used in that way. So many are questioning what exactly has it been used for. And of course, we've got some local elections coming up. So this is not a great time for the new First Minister and of course, the government in Scotland. All right. Thank you for all those insights from London, Alex Isaac.